I'm Erin Holly, your Port Aransas neighborhood reporter. This little guy I'm holding right here is Zeus. He's the grandson of Zelda, a Port Aransas winter Texans dog that was killed by a coyote almost a year ago. I'm going to tell you about how that owner is bringing awareness about the danger of coyotes in the Port Aransas community. That is one of the last sounds that Mary Jane Chafin ever heard from her dog, Zelda. And every time I go out there, you know, it's a reminder of what happened. In April 2023, the Chafin's lives were changed forever. At first we thought maybe it was um, somebody pulled in and snatched her. <laughs> you know, and um, that was on a Saturday and I got a hold of Tammy and she said that they had cameras and we'd watch on Monday. So we went in on Monday and watched the security camera and you could see the coyote come in and came right there by the grill. While the Chafin's hearts were broken, they wanted to make sure that this wouldn't happen to anyone else. She wrote a letter to the governor and I started a Facebook page, um, Port Aransas Coyote Tax, and I've got over um, a thousand people on that page. The Chafins are keeping the legend of Zelda alive through spreading awareness and through their new pup, Zeus. Zeus now, which is the grandson of Zelda, which we lost. And it's quite an amazing story how that happened. The Chafins got Zeus all the way back home in Michigan. While it's hard for them to be here in Port A where Zelda was killed, they are making the most out of it with their four furry friends. We're not here to kill coyotes. We're here to warn people that it can happen to you. You know, uh, right outside your door in seconds. And I don't live in fear. That's another reason I came back. Mary Jane is planning to continue to run the Port Aransas Coyote Attack Facebook page and sharing her story publicly with others to prevent any other pet deaths from coyotes in the Port Aransas neighborhood. In Port Aransas, Aaron Holly, Chris Six News.